What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to get perfect skin tones in DaVinci Resolve and how to maintain those skin tones throughout any grade that you throw on your footage. Let's take a look. The one thing that used to drive me crazy when I first started editing videos, when I first started color grading especially, was skin tones. It seemed like no matter what I did, if I started to grade my footage, my skin tones would get messed up, and if I started grading my skin tones, then everything else would get messed up. I would spend hours masking things out, trying to get it right. It was just a mess, and if I did, happened to get everything right and then I wanted to change the grade, I basically just had to start all over. Today I'm going to show you a method that allows you to grade your skin tones once and just be able to keep it no matter what you do with the rest of your footage. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look. Okay, so we're here in the color page in DaVinci Resolve 16. I've got a clip queued up for you guys to check out. This is just a washed out, grayed out. I think it's log footage. I just grabbed it from the internet. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this clip in order to get it looking the way that we want. And the first step is to actually color correct this footage and get it looking like it's Rec. 709. Since this is not a color correction tutorial, I'm just gonna skip ahead to where everything's color corrected. If you do wanna see a color correction tutorial, make sure you let me know in the comments. All right, our footage is color corrected and that's actually looking pretty good. It's time to qualify our skin tones and start editing those. Before we do that, we actually wanna come over to our RGB mixer. We're gonna bump up the saturation in this image so we have more to work with when we're looking at our scope. So let's go ahead and crank up our red output, our green output, and our blue output. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna hit Alt S to add a new serial node. I'm gonna come down here and select our qualifier, make sure our picker is selected. We're gonna find a mid-tone in the skin and click on that. I'm gonna go over here and click our highlights button so we can see what we've selected. Come back down to our qualifier, hit the feather plus button. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag our mouse over our skin to make sure that we're picking everything that we want, that all of the things we want graded with the skin tones are picked. And go ahead and manually adjust this just a little bit by denoising it. And you will notice that there are things other than the skin that are selected, and that's okay. When we grade this stuff together, it's actually gonna help our skin tones blend with the other grades that we're gonna throw this on. All right, the next thing we want to do is make sure that we're on our vector scope and that the skin tone indicator line is selected. If it's not, just go ahead and hit your settings. Make sure that the skin tone indicator box is checked. Also make sure that the vector scope slider is bumped all the way up so you can accurately see everything that's going on. The next thing we want to do is add a power window to make sure that we're only dealing with this skin. So we're going to go over here to our power windows. We're going to click a circular power window and drag that over the face. Stretch that out so we're getting a good sample. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn that a little bit. So we got some of the skin in there. We got the face and that looks good. Next, we're gonna make sure that our skin tones are initially running along this skin tone indicator line. And to do that, we're gonna come back over here to our wheels. We're gonna make sure we're in our log wheels. We're gonna click on offset and we're just gonna adjust that until our skin tones are running along the skin tone indicator. Now this next part is gonna happen no matter what skin pigment you're working with. It doesn't matter, you're still gonna wanna put some orange into the mid-tones. I actually want to crank that up quite a bit. We're gonna bring some red into our shadows. And here a little bit goes a long way. This is just to simulate blood running under our skin and make our skin look a little bit more alive. And then our highlights are always gonna match the ambient light of the scene that we're in. So in this case, this is actually a very cold scene. There's snow, there's winter coats and all of that. So there's gonna be a lot of blue light. So we're gonna drag the highlights just slightly to blue. 
And we're gonna go ahead and deactivate our power window, deactivate our highlight selector. And now we're gonna play around with the low range and the high range. We're gonna try and get a good mix of those midtones, shadows, and highlights. So the first thing we're gonna do is take that low range, we're gonna drag it all the way down. You'll see everything turned orange. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up until we start seeing a good mix of the shadows and the midtones. And right about there, 260 is looking pretty good to me. Next, we're gonna move to our high range. Same thing, we're gonna drag it all the way down. You'll notice that the blue actually kind of took over there. And we're gonna bring that back up until we see a good mix of the midtones and the highlights. And that is looking pretty perfect right there at about 358. Next thing I'm gonna wanna do is bring up the saturation for this skin tone grade, but we're gonna go back to our first node and we're going to reset our RGB mixer. And now if we play this back, you'll see we have a nice color corrected image with perfect skin tones. All right, next up is to show you how to maintain this skin tone throughout any grade that you throw onto your footage. And just for the sake of time, we're gonna be working with LUTs instead of manually color grading all of this. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit Alt S to add a new node. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a LUT from Shutterstock over here. This one's called Boulder. And you'll see that as soon as we put this on, the footage got a lot darker, the skin tones were affected, and that is what we're trying to avoid. So in order to do that, we're gonna right click on the node where our LUT was placed. We're gonna hit add node, add layer. Then we're gonna draw a line between the blue square of our skin tone grade and the blue triangle of our new layer. And you'll see that the skin tones have already brightened up and corrected themselves just a bit, but we wanna bring that out even more. So we're gonna go ahead down to our key. We're gonna go to key output, and I'm just gonna crank that up to 200. And you can see that brightened it up quite nicely. It's still not all the way there yet. So I'm gonna click back on the LUT, and we're just gonna adjust this LUT so it's a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go to my curves. I'll just hit the midtones a little bit and brighten that up. And I think that looks just about perfect. We're going to come back to our skin tone layer, maybe back off of the key output a little bit to better blend those highlights. And let's go ahead and play that one. That looks absolutely perfect. Now the really cool thing about this method is if you wanted to change the grade on your footage, you can do that without changing your skin tones. For example, let's go ahead and reset this node grade that had our LUT on it. And let's go ahead and choose one of my own LUTs from my 2019 LUTs pack, which is linked in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the winter LUT. Drag that onto our node. Play that back and you'll see we have the same skin tones. And by the way, if you wanna learn more about how I edit in DaVinci Resolve, I do have a playlist that's linked right in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Make sure you check that out. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. I'll talk to you later. See ya.